Well, let's speak now to Dr Anna Basu, who's a nuclear detection expert uh, and chief executive officer at the Chromec Group, monitoring and making equipment to monitor radiation. Thank you very much indeed uh, for your time, uh, Dr Basu. Just to, to reiterate what we're hearing from the, the UN about this, this warning, that this cannot be allowed to go on, the IAEA being told, um, and one day our luck will run out, they say. Look, I mean, this is clearly, uh, for the first time in the human history, we are, there's an attempt to weaponize a nuclear power plant, which is, which is very worrying. I mean, as you rightly point out, it's the sixth time this has happened. And, and uh, very rightly, uh, there are things about being told that our luck will one day run out because this is really playing with fire. And just to explain, the electricity is needed to keep the cooling the reactor and the plant, uh, otherwise it, it goes critical. And, of course, we remember what happened in Chernobyl. Very much so. Uh, you know, the backup generators are there. They're doing its, their job right now. Uh, they've got, uh, as I uh, understand, 10 days of fuel uh, to support the plant. But, of course, one thing that you don't want to happen is, is really those generators to run out of fuel or can be refueled. And then a catastrophic event happens, which not only affects Ukraine or its neighboring, uh, you know, sort of areas around the Zaporizhia power plant, but it'll have a ramification around Europe and, and as far as the UK but possibly. Yeah, well, do you believe that Russia is deliberately weaponizing this and, and, and trying to um, cripple that plant? Because uh, clearly if it does blow uh, and the wind blows in the wrong direction, that fallout is going to head over to Russia. Very much so. Uh, look, I mean, nuclear power plants are built as very robust infrastructures, so they can withstand quite a lot of things. But uh, of course, if you are constantly, uh, you know, targeting and constantly trying to, uh, you know, bom bombard a nuclear power plant, eventually something will go wrong. And and you know, there are. It's not only the core. There are nuclear waste materials um, in and around which, which if they are hit, uh, they they could they could actually disperse. So what is is uh, needed is is really good quality, uh, you know, first of all, good quality of information system to ensure that in case such an event happens, that the the instancy of the information is available to uh, to first responders uh, in Ukraine and of course beyond, because as you rightly point out. Uh, if the wind blows in the uh, wrong direction, it could go to Russia. If the br wind blows in the wrong direction from our perspective, yeah. uh, it could actually come into Europe and, and, and beyond. So, as, as we remember with Chernobyl, of course. Well, how much monitoring equipment is there? How much do we know about what's going on inside the plant? Uh, there is, a, you know, uh, all all nuclear power plants are monitored uh, through uh, by IAEA as 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 a must, and and that's going on. Uh, there is, uh, you know, we we know there is infrastructure within Ukraine. Those infrastructures are being upgraded, and and all of that is happening. But it is it is a much wider uh, question as well that you know, it, as 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 you rightly point out, that if a catastrophic event happens. Mm. It is not restricted to only in the neighboring parts of that power plant. It's, yeah. it's the dispersion can be much far further. So uh, monitoring equipment is necessary. Uh, uh, you know, infrastructure is necessary at the local level to react uh, if such things happens and uh, to safeguard citizens, to safeguard assets, to safeguard uh, things in, in, in other countries as well. So there is, a, there is a whole combination of things that needs to happen, but there is active monitoring that is going on right now, like every other power plant. Let me remind your readers, I mean, uh, viewers, that ultimately nuclear, nuclear power is a very safe form of power. And this is just an unprecedented event that is going on in right in front of our eyes, where actively a nation is trying to bomb and, and throw missiles and trying to weaponize a power plant, which is, which is unheard of. Yeah. Dr. Anabasu, thank you very much indeed for bringing us uh, your reaction to that.